Good afternoon. My name is uh, Otto Smissert. I am a professor of uh, cardiology at the University of Oslo. It's my pleasure today to uh, interview with uh, Professor uh, Michel Komarsta, who is president of the European Society of Cardiology. The theme of the interview is uh, the relations between the industry and uh, the European Society of Cardiology. And the background is that the uh, European Society of Cardiology published a white paper or a policy document on this issue a few months ago. I would like to start this uh, interview by asking uh, Professor Komashta why is it important that we have a relationship with uh, the health uh, industry? Well, simply because we are working in the same area and to have a relationship, professional relationship, between industry partners and academic partners is normal and natural because we are all fighting against cardiovascular disease. So as you outlined in the white paper, this is a challenging area and uh, maybe you would like to mention for us now the most important messages from the white paper published in the European Heart Journal this year. Well, as you know, there is a growing concern by both the public and the decision makers that the scientific information released by medical professional organizations such as ours is neutral and independent. And this is why we believe that it was time to revise our internal policy and set new rules in order to reassure the public and the decision makers that the ESC is really an independent body and that the information that we release scientifically is unbiased. Uh, which are the uh, measures uh, which will be undertaken by the European Society of Cardiology to make sure that we can be consistent with uh, this philosophy of the independence? First of all, industry staff is not allowed to take part in the build-up of the scientific program of our meetings. They can be asked like experts, but never as the scientific committee members. And I think this is very important to ensure neutrality. I also understand that the, uh, uh, the sort of supervision or quality assurance exerted by the uh, external and independent body, the EBAC or the uh, European uh, accreditation uh, organization is important and how would that help to make this uh, become uh, the education to become uh, independent how would that function well i think that it is uh, uh, safe to have a clear separation between providers and we are providers of science and medical information and evaluators so that it's a different body which judges whether the content of the uh, information provided is neutral. What is also important, Professor Smith said, is that in all our instances, not one single person decides alone. It is always a group of colleagues which makes a decision for a selection of a topic of speakers. And so it's a sort of collective wisdom which makes the decision in order to avoid individual bias. I wonder how do you make sure that the audience at a lecture, for instance, or a course, are informed about any potential uh, competing interests between the uh, presenter and uh, industry? Well, it's very simple. It is mandatory for any speaker or any chairperson of a, a symposium or a session to provide his or her declarations of interest in the room so that everybody is aware of his potential conflicts of interest. In addition, now the ESC requests that all officers working for our society provide annually an update of their potential conflicts of interest, which are reviewed internally by a specific committee in order to be sure that the, uh, Dr. X is really independent from the industry. So transparency is sort of the issue. I wonder at the end of the interview if there is any sort of uh, summarizing uh, information you would, uh, could give uh, regarding the future of the uh, collaboration with industry? 
Well, I think that once again it is vital that we continue to collaborate with industry and any progress which has been made is a result of a clear and transparent collaboration between healthcare industry and the academic sector. We need to progress this way. But the provision is that any relationship must be released in a very transparent way. Uh, thank you, Professor Kamarcha, and congratulations with uh, the ongoing Congress, which I understand is the largest cardiovascular meeting on this planet, and uh, it has great attendance from uh, people all over the world. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.